should be fine now. Although the quality is kind of shit for you. That's yeah, fine. That's one of the ones we have to hit him on the head specifically. Uh, that was the old school one. You get to do that in the, be in the beginning of the game as well. I, think. I love the whole map path thing. Is like, oh, of all the all the Belmonts would just hit Dracula in the head. Spoiler alert: you're doing it wrong. Leo, there are multiple steps to killing a vampire. Uh, I miss the man. But then again, it's like. I love when the channel plummeted in viewership ever since he left. Well, yeah, because it's mad pack. You can't Which just... we... It kind of became a situation where it was more about the host than the content. Which sucks, because... Matt yeah, just had that charisma, but it's very obvious that, you know... That, yeah... We Which... also hired four different replacements for four different channels, which is weird. But understandable, though. I don't know why he launched Fashion Theory. I would rather have survival theory than that shit. That's what everyone wanted. What the hell? Yeah, like, that's probably it. Like, I don't know why he thought it was a good idea to have multiple channels for, like, four different things. That's just how YouTube was, like, at the time. People had, like, multiple channels for everything under the sun for extra views. Yeah, but... I don't like you did much. Not really. I feel like John Tron's essentially just a dead channel now with how little he posts all the time. Well, it's not that he, not that he doesn't post a lot. It's just the fact that he believes in, like, um, how do I say this? Quality over quantity. No, like he doesn't. The reason he doesn't post all that often is not because he's not like on hiatus. It's because he likes to make a bunch of videos and then post them immediately after, rather than just constantly upload like on a schedule he likes to like um record a bunch of videos first and then once he like has like a couple done that's when he'll post them that's usually how he does his stuff i, I still love his freaking uh, flex tape video oh dude flex tape his, his flex tape one is iconic dude my store i worked at sold flex tape and it still does and i'm like and the first time i saw the ads was actually at my store because they would play them constantly like where the flex tape was, it was like a little screen they had. Yeah, I like how I'm, I like how even like uh, the guy that you know the commercials for flex tape. Yeah, uh, he showed up on a video for John Tron at some point. Oh, he actually did an interview with him. No, he didn't. No, uh, he made a cameo in the video, and he's like, "Hey, John," and he's like, "Phil Swift, Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, you're real! Yes, it's pretty much what happened. Is because, um, because of the fact Phil Swift, um, because of the fact that Flex Tape is now iconic to the JonTron universe now, it's like, fuck it, time to get Phil Swift in here. They're probably friends at this point, let's face it. Oh, 100%. It's, it's, it's so fucking hilarious, though, because of that. <laughs> Because yeah, here's the thing, like, John, I think is fine with doing his own thing by now, because I think he's happy where he is. So, I know he's probably fine with the stuff he's doing. John Tron. Although, Normal Boots, I don't know what Normal Boots is doing nowadays. Because I'm pretty sure I John's starting- I bankrupt again. Wait, did that happen? Wait, again? I don't know, I haven't heard from him recently. Didn't, like, two of their people, like, become pedophiles or something? I don't know. I don't know, it's because, like, wasn't, like, normal Yeah, didn't it, like, it Jared talking to minors or something weird? Here's the thing. There has been evidence to prove that Pro Jared didn't do any of that stuff. He was framed by his wife, essentially. Really? Yeah, he got framed. He didn't do it. He ended up coming out, like, going on hiatus for a bit, and then came out months later saying that... He has and that he didn't do it with with receipts. He did have evidence that it with wasn't receipt. him. Yeah, he has evidence. He had the evidence. Not only that, even like they even confirmed that it was true that he he didn't do I it. I mean, she probably got him fired from his job like a fucking moron. Oh, he did. Oh, she did. She definitely did. Luckily, he managed to bounce back and is still doing YouTube nowadays, which I'm happy for him. 
Because usually it takes a lot to bounce back and that type of stuff. And luckily he managed to bounce back, thank god. Oh, you're the one that did that, you prick! You picky! I'm not. Yeah, it's just I forgot to make a community note saying I'm streaming, so I need to make that. Dude, my cat's in lovey dubby mode right now. He's praying like crazy in my lap. Oh, that means you must have done something good for him to realize that you're good. I mean, I've been petting him for the last bit. 15 minutes and he's enjoying it. Dude, my dog has been super chill the moment she came inside. She's just like, bro, I just won't sleep. Probably happy. She is happy because I kept petting her and the moment I started like scratching her when she likes it, she started like to fall asleep. There's one thing I know about those particular dog breeds is they like cuddles. I you know my brother has oh, like, a weird shit, box what are you? thing and that thing loves being hugged. They don't know what the hell it is. They're saying it's part Great Dane and it's a medium-sized dog. I doubt it. You guys know where that part Great Dane comes from? It's a mutt through and through, but it's a good mutt. Oh my god. Oh, is your... Oh, I didn't notice that your health's like in the cooling there. Ow! The first best Castlevania game. R.E.M. Sorrow! Yeah, someone agrees there. Aria of Sorrow is Aria of Sorrow is great, and I'm glad they put that back on the Switch. Yeah, dude, I loved Aria. I think my first one that's like the kept... fuck. I think my first favorite Castlevania. Yeah, Aria's probably... one with the same system, right? Um, I think the first Castlevania I tried was Dawn, because that's the first one I ever tried out. Because my cousin. Was that a DS one? Yeah, Dawn of Sorrow was a DS one, and the thing is though, um, that game's kind of controversial in a way. Because I imagine it used to touch screen really weirdly. Yes, uh, most of the game was normal, but for some reason, in order to kill bosses, you had to do the equivalent of a Full Metal Alchemist summoning sign. Oh my God! One thing I will say with Nintendo, whenever they produce like a new gimmicky thing, is games will use that gimmicky thing for, like the first two years of the console's launch, and then say fuck it and just use it as like a. Uh, and use it when they absolutely have to. Yeah, I remember the touchpad for for the PS4 was like this big thing. Only for devs to realize, fuck it, just make it a secondary select button. Do you many you know how many devs straight up forgot that uh the 3DS has a touch screen? The only dev that I've seen ever use it was Other Ocean. Not only that, um Which they used it for uh Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, I know it has a long, complicated name. But it's cool, though, because you can strap the switch to your arm and pretend it's a dual disc. The other cart ones are the shit ones. Oh! It's like a noob trap, I assume? Not a noob trap, but it's like... It's just not recommended to use. I mean, you, you know, I just realized, we you need to play that uh, SAO game once I get my PlayStation Online back in action. Because the game's pretty much dead unless you have local multiplayer friends to play with. Ow! Alright, if you can just get under him one more time like that, I think you're good. I'll be blasting fireballs, honestly. The fireballs do jack shit for damage. They're doing 20, which is better than nothing. I would just stay in the air, honestly. Oh! There's no way to dodge that AoE, either. That's what's bullshit about it. And you can't really play a game of ping pong like you can in uh, Zelda. I know what it you killed uses. Yuri Lowenthal, you bastard! Shut up. <laughs> Sasuke will never get his revenge now. He could suck my dick. Who's gonna kill Itachi now? No one. <laughs> Make all the Naruto jokes, I please. Uh, well, then, uh, then the choking meme would be accurate, because Sasuke sucks anyways. Oh no, not you. Wait a minute, I know this area. I need to go. I need to go! You need to get the fuck out of there, boy! Fucking run, boy! I know what to use here. Hold on. 
You're kind of welcome in this town, boy. Right. Racist jokes are racist. Try an Alec card though. Wait, I had the lightning mail. I am an absolute moron. Yeah, I figured you'd find that amusing. Oh no, it says the slew of easy bosses ends with Gallimoth. Gallimoth is a strictly uh, strictly optional fight, and <laughs> for good reason too. Packing 600. 6,666 XP. Or HP. So we haven't even come close to killing him. Which means... Shit. I don't gotta fight him. Which means I'm gonna fight him late game. Good thing I pulled up. So it's a waste of my time. Cool. Hell yeah! Alright, that's good to know at least. How do you even do that boss no hits? There's some psychopaths, because there are some psychopaths that manage to beat the old bosses without getting hit somehow. Uh, those people have severe autism and I question their sanity. Yes, yeah, like, I always look at no hit runners and think, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, how much patience do you gotta have for this? A lot. So what does money do in this one? Do you actually are you actually able to buy stuff? Yeah, you're able to buy stuff. We gotta find the merchant first, and I think I know where he is. The problem is I don't know if he's here in the inverted castle. I know a lot of Castlevania games. Money that is like golden shit. It's just score. Holy shit, that's a lot of skeletons. I told Michael Jackson to keep those in the closet. I love that song. <laughs> that song. Uh, in the closet. Who sings that? Michael Jackson. Wait, are you fucking serious? Yeah, he made a song called In the Closet. Uh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, South Park reference it, I think. <laughs> and the thing is, though, I used to hear that song as a kid in front of my mom. Here's the problem. That song should not be heard by a kid. Well, yeah, a lot of Michael Jackson music should not be heard by I know, it's just some of the funniest shit ever. It's like, if you take a quick listen to it, don't play it, don't listen to it on stream. Just listen to it, because I don't want to get I'm banned. Like, listen to it real quick and just listen, or look up the lyrics and just look at it. Don't say the lyrics, just read them. Just read them. Like, look at the lyrics. I like how says Michael Jackson's a dancer. Oh yeah, I forgot he had cancer. No, a dancer. He never had cancer. Well, there's a reason he's called the King of Pop. Oh. I like how our era of music doesn't have a king of anything. It doesn't. Because here's the, the thing. The genre is so oversaturated, there's not really a way to so, nominate a king. Yeah, not only that, you can't exactly tell who is better at who. Because now you can't really I mean, say who's the best. Technically, people say Taylor Swift's the king of pop or queen of pop now. And those people need to go uh, reevaluate their life choices. Oh, no. So, yeah. I don't hate Taylor Swift just to hate Taylor Swift. I don't like her. I love her old stuff. I don't like her new stuff. It all sounds so samey. I don't like it. Summon four spirits. Oh, to oh. go on the bat mode, you have to do fucking left up, left diagonal up. Oh, it's a full circle square. Yeah, oh, this game has some really weird, um... Shit, it's like a where... throw in most games. Yeah, essentially, this game re has really weird uh, mechanics. Where if you want to use spells, you have to such a do a fighting game input. I mean, I guess if you're using a controller, a joystick, that's easier. But I can imagine if you only had the uh, 
Actually, imagine actually, if you only had a uh, non dual shock back in the day. That'd out, be of, torture. out of curiosity, I ended up looking up people that actually did play it with a fight stick, and they were like, "Yeah, it's pretty fun playing it with a fight stick." It probably is. You got a good joystick on there. I can imagine the absolute torture though was playing this with a non dual shock PlayStation controller. <laughs> That's what originally came with the PlayStation, so it would have came with this game. Oh, I am fully aware. They're actually really, really rare now, those controllers. Like, they're rarer than the DualShocks. Because later editions of the PlayStation just came with a DualShock, you know? Like, those controllers are actually worth a lot more than DualShocks are, it's crazy. Because I have an authentic PlayStation DualShock, and it's not worth shit in comparison. Shocking, ain't it? Isn't it? It's because those original controllers throughout the joysticks were packaged with the first PlayStations, but then when the uh, DualShocks started coming out, they just started selling the PlayStations with DualShocks and just phased those controllers off the market completely. They also didn't sell those controllers separately at first. I don't think. They just sold the DualShocks. Yeah. Listen, I don't know that. I don't know a lot of gaming history, but I know that's a thing. Like, the only stuff I collect now, like, movie-wise, are, like, good movie collections and or, uh, horror movies that I really want, or movies that I just want on my shelf. Like, as bad as the Monster Hunter movie was, I wanted that shit on my shelf. Actually, I, I honestly wouldn't say that the Monster Hunter movie was bad. It was... It was fun. Yeah, it's a very fun movie. You only really watch it if your board is out of your mind. You don't want to watch it for the plot. Except I will say, if it ever does get a sequel, more monster fights, less talky. Like, yeah. I, it would have been better if they just focused on a character from the Monster Hunter world instead of, like, shoehorning in, like, someone from our modern world. I find that kind of funny that Wes Anderson always somehow manages to get the fucking Capcom film rights. Like... Either, like, either he sucks Capcom's dick really well, or he has, like, pity points with them somehow. Dude, the world sucks Capcom's dick. I mean, look at the great thing they've been making recently. Like, the Resident Evil movies, like, they're very fun to watch, but, the, but they're, like, bad. They are so Either. bad, but they're so Aren't fun. Aren't they bad? But they're... Some of them are, like, critically acclaimed, I thought. Yeah, the first one was really good. No, 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 I'm thinking of the Underworld movies, not Resident Evil. Oh, you missed an item. I know, I can't grab it. I'm gonna die. But yeah, yeah, I'm thinking of the. Have you ever seen the Underworld movies about vampires be werewolves, like in the Tokyo under or in the New York Underground? Oh, dude, I mi I loved that movie. That shit was my childhood. There were a few movies. I haven't seen them. I know my dad has them in his cabinet. I need to watch those. What's shocking to me is that I wonder why Underworld ended up failing. Like, why, did it like did it just like get unpopular like most movies do? I mean, I feel like the market was like oversaturated with vampire movies at the time. Oh, I also blame Twilight. Yeah, I think, I, here's the thing, I think Twilight basically fucked anything and everything of all these vampires. Dude, during Twilight's existence, it just made people not like vampires. Ah, oh, Like, I understand, like, the suave appeal of vampires, that's always been a thing with vampires ever since their existence, is them being, like, of them being, like, alluring and sexy to lure their prey in, because they're essentially hunters, it's what they do. But Twilight took that to a whole new level and fucked it. Even the actors like, wanted like to keep away from it because um I remember one of the actors. If I fucked it, I mean, dude, my sister drug dragged me to see uh, two of the Twilight movies, the third one and the fourth one, part one. Hated both of those movies. Oh, dude, here's the thing. I don't even. Are the books even any good? No. <laughs> How the? F I mean, the books are way more violent than the movies are. But literally, there's a scene in the book. I don't know how much detail I can go into this on YouTube. Actually, other people have. Fuck it. Uh, there's a scene in the book where they have to rip. Uh, they of course censored this in the uh, movies because they couldn't do it in the PG-13 movie. But they have to rip Bella's baby out of her by slicing her stomach open with Edward's with Edward's claws and then having him bite the fetus out of there. Why? I'm not kidding. That's what happens in the book. Cause Stephen Meyer's a psychopath. Okay, I, I... No, that just sounds like an edgelord in the making. What Dude, the I read a lot of adult fiction, and I have... Like, not porn. I mean adult fiction as in, like, young adult books, etc. And I've never seen anything that violent in a book. Like, holy shit. 
Yeah, there's something wrong with the author, man, because why the fuck would he make something like Twilight? It was a woman! <laughs> and, she ha and she has some really weird taste, dude. I mean, a lot of women are into true crime, so... I'm not- that's not a stereotype, it's true. Like, my- my mom is, my brother's husband- husband. <laughs> my brother's wife is, my sister is. Oh, so my brother's wife, I mean to tell this story for a while because it's funny. Did I- did I ever tell you this? No. So my brother's wife has been watching this one true crime show that's about- about women killing their husbands all like living gotta have all lived in the same house that they say is cursed or whatever and my brother's like if you ever find me dead just know that she was probably watching this show for inspiration <laughs> like he said it with her in the car like straight up i'm like dude really what the fuck? to be fair his life can be uh kind of uh yeah she'll probably watch this at some point so i'm not gonna say it but uh <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna say a goddamn thing. The thing though, I, I'm here's the thing though. I'm a classic hardcore gamer, so I play like, all my games on hard, and I make fun of. It's debatable. I make fun of easy mode players. Hey, 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 hey! You do not play. You play Fire Emblem on easy. What are you talking about? Hey, I play it on normal difficulty. I just don't like permadeath. And you're yeah, you saw. play it with permadeath off, meaning that it's not the hardest difficulty. No, permadeath is an option. For options. That is not an option, it's how you're meant to play Fire Emblem, and it's been so since the get going the series. I just don't like permadeath, man. Like, I'm fine with, like, if I lost, I want it to be my fault, and it's like, okay, fine, cool. The problem right. is, I don't like permanently losing my shit. Okay, if we ever do a conquest run, we are doing permadeath for that. Dude, here's the thing. You can't even... How do I say this? It's not like they're... Conquest doesn't even have a casual mode anyway, so it's not like you can do shit. So you're already starting on fucking classic difficulty with Conquest. No, Conquest has... Conquest has the mode we're playing. No, I don't think it did, because I remember... I think it was Awakening that introduced, cla and they introduced casual. That's what happened. Yeah, and Conquest is the other route that has the casual mode. Dude, everything post-Awakening has a casual mode. What are you talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. I thought you meant like I'm the old GameCube ones, like Geology of the Holy War or something. No. no, 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 no. I'm talking about if we play uh, Fire Emblem uh, Conquest, you're doing it with permadeath mode on on normal. Here's the thing. I'm not doing permadeath. I'm not doing Conquest, because fuck Conquest, because that's the shit of your story. Yeah, it does, but it's also the hardest Fire Emblem to date besides uh, Valentia. Which... Dude, I really want another game like Valentia, because here's the thing, a dungeon crawling Fire Emblem sounds sick. I mean, if they remake technology of the Holy War, they could do that. Like, I thought they were going to do that with three houses, but no, they didn't. And I'm like, fuck. I mean, the dungeons are kind of there to just drain your MP before the boss. Well, yeah, that's the point. And I'm, here's the thing, I much prefer that. Not on the final level, you don't. I got fucking annihilated. You're talking to a man Numerous who plays. Times. What the heck's hitting me? Did you know what happened in my playthrough? Pretty much all of Celica's army got fucked by the final dungeon, and I essentially only had Celica and her mercenary guy. He essentially carried that army, and then I had a uh, pretty much most of Alm's army. But it's not enough forces to handle the cavalcade. Of, uh, like, constantly responding enemies it throws at you. Yeah, I would, it would be cool if that, the reason we haven't gotten a new Fire Emblem yet that's not engaged, is because they're trying to do something similar to Echoes, or Geology, or... Oh, like, Geology of the Holy War! It just sounds like such a cool concept, like, they can do such cool story things now. Like yeah, that. not only that, it's like, they could do much more, rather than just, like, oh, you already have the maps made, why not make, like, there to be, like, a road to the map, like, for example, like, you're trying to go to like the next like main quest line and then it's like you can walk around the world trying like to go there and i kind of like, want another fire emblem with a base system and that what takes actual cues from the medieval period where you have to like actually farm crops and do all this stuff before you go in the battle 
Yeah. Like, have but, actual systems in place and manage yeah, it properly. I, yeah, I know, but but well, they can, like, do it in a way that's, like, casually, because, you know, the main appeal of Fire Emblem... I don't actually, mean, like, have it be super advanced, like, something like Manor Lords. Like, don't make it, like, a farming sim, but, like... No, I mean, like, habits where you have to kind of, like, manage your property and stuff. What the heck's hitting? Like, not, like, full-on, like, farm sim. I mean, like... What the heck's hitting? I don't know. Oh, these butterflies. I just like the idea of having a homestead you have to kind of take care of, like, in a base. Like, that's, like, it, a cool idea. I think it's probably best to do it similar to Fates, where it's, like, um, you know... I mean, you have a homestead in, a in so you have a homestead in three houses that you can freely walk around but it's not as good yeah it would be cool if it's like like i said they added like some exploration to like the like the fields for example like because like i said i would prefer it was like echo echo shadows of valencia because I like dungeon crawling, and I thing is with Fire Emblem. They'll probably keep that for technology remake. And I don't mean like, oh, you dungeon crawl like through the map and the battle. I no, I mean like actually exploring physically. No, like like actually. In a Do you want to play Valencia? We're done with Fates. Maybe, but I'm just telling you right now though, Valencia is super fucking hard, and it's designed to be. Which is why I'm putting on casual Even on normal having mode. on normal difficulty. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't blame you for playing that one without permadeath, because that one is meant to kick your ass. Because it's, because it, here's the thing, it's an SNES Fire Emblem. Of course, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Especially when you get to the Necro Dragons, those things are like, I mean, you could straight up annihilate five of them once at the end of the game, but in the beginning of the game, if you put like one, if you don't like surround that thing. Or if you, don't, if you don't have Seraphim magic going in, up against a Necro Dragon, you're gonna get your entire army is going to get destroyed. Because the way that game works is any undead enemy is weak to uh, is weak to light magic, and if you don't have the proper light magic, you're gonna get fucked up. Yeah. You're gonna get fucked up hard. And guess what? Only two characters in the entire game can cast light magic.
Hey, don't worry, we're working on it. Did they ever do that? They just sort of... I found some fire on it. No, I mean for some six. Oh yeah, they do. Um, because I remember some of them on it. They teased it and did not say shit for two years. I mean, I prefer a game studio to stay quiet after they announce something and only say something. Circumcise every single one of them. Yeah, like, dude, like, people <laughs> like and then give the force to the king. That he'll understand. Dude, like, here's the thing: people underestimate just how much the Bible has metal as fuck stories to tell. And then there's the one, and then there's the binding of eyes. Like, this guy's like, where God's literally just gaslighting this guy and being like, "Hey, can you kill him? Can you kill your kid for me?" And then God's like, "Wait, wait, wait! This is a bad idea. Don't actually do that. Kill a thing instead." Literally, that entire story. Like, bro. Like, <laughs> like, literally, I think 
or Isaac's dad when we had some like on a podium ready to stab his ass and shimmy. And then God's like, no, never mind, this is a fucked up idea, don't do that. But it's like, yeah, like I said, the Bible, like I keep reading, the Bible has so many other stories out there. It's why like so many games try like to do the Bible because some of them have metal as hell stories. You know what sucks? It's just one Bible game that's actually being handled by some like former Assassin's Creed dev. And I played the demo of it, but you know what sucks? Instead of being like an actual combat game, it's this weird stealth puzzle game, and I'm like, nah, nah. I will say though, Jesus. Like, who would hate Jesus? Oh, we choose. No one. Oh, we choose. Never mind. We should really stop talking to Lynch now before you think he's mad. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think he's mad. Everyone knows Judas right now. sucks. Like, here's the thing. Everyone knows Jesus is like a super chill dude in both in the Bible and like the And then you're just like, I'm gonna betray your ass for 13 silver coins. Yeah, everyone knows so Jesus. I actually did the math. I actually did the math to modern convert, convert silver coins to what they would have worth now. So if you go with current silver prices, you just essentially got like five dollars out of that whole thing. Wow. Wait, what's the silver price? Alright, hang on, I'm gonna figure this math wrong now. Alright? Stick with me, chat. We're gonna figure this out together. Alright, how many silver? First off, how many? Piece of silver, okay. And then the current value of silver. Is twenty-nine dollars and forty-eight cents per ounce. So that would be twenty-nine times that would be twenty-nine forty-eight times. So Jesus was essentially portrayed to, in modern currency, for in modern currency, eight hundred eighty-four dollars and forty and forty-eight cents. Math, ladies and gentlemen. That means that means Judas a bitch. That's not even enough to cover someone's rent nowadays in New York. Not even in New York, dude. New York, every like, dude, every single like. Now it's like $2,000 for the median rent. Like we need rent caps, like a whole of the head. I'm not joking, during the Game Awards, I think it was 
216. He showed up playing Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> I'm not joking. He just showed up on one of, like, on, like, on one of the events and just like, he's like, oh, how you doing? And they're like, he had a switch in hand oh, with Tears of the Kingdom. Are you getting Richter right now? Shit, you not, or not Todd Howard, but that's literally what it says in Elder Scrolls lore. Because cats use litter box in real, because cats use li use a litter box in real life. That's why the Khajiit live in a desert. So they just sort of pop a squat and just, there we go. <laughs> well, no, well, no, it's where the dirt, it's rated. The game, they're not gonna do that, but it's more or less the game's. Uh, it's more or less cats are comfortable in a desert in that universe. Well, that makes sense. It's still the funniest thing to me. I think I read that in one of the Skyrim books, actually. It's like one of the few that breaks the lore. It's funny. Or no, it wasn't one of the Skyrim books. They're like, when someone asks about it, they're like, why do, why do uh, Khajiit live in a desert? And they're like, use your imagination. I'm like, oh. Because the desert's like a litter box. Like, a lot of people think cat litter is sand. Play? No, it's literally deodorized sand. Yeah. It's what keeps your cat from smelling like absolute ass. Right, DJ? You need to rub in more cat litter. I probably just need to get that cat a straight up bath. You probably need my to. Hands are, you my can... arms are not ready for that, though. I don't want to get clawed to death. Yeah, you can't. They can't clean themselves forever. They can't cl clean themselves forever. At some point, they gotta get an actual. Oh, bath. yeah, no. When cats feel like they're like, old enough, they can't clean themselves. I'll probably have to give them an actual bath. So if I if I stream with complete bandages around my hands, you know what happened. Do a stream of you bathing your cat. That'll be amazing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why? I did not take any of my electronics near water after what happened last time. Use your phone. You don't need to use your fucking like PC. Just use your phone. No, I wouldn't use my PC. But no, dude, I'm so prone to dropping my phone in water. It's ridiculous. So I'm well, not then get it. like a fucking stand. Get something. You just want to see me get clawed to death by my cat, don't you? Yes, because it's gonna be it'll be hilarious, free content. I mean, you want to see what's on the current kitty cam? Uh, go, uh, cork. No, like uh, the bitch is laying on one side of the bed, and then the uh, like gray cat's on the other one. <sighs> I don't know where cork is right now. I think he's mad at me because I took him off my lap. <laughs> he's like, oh, I gotta send you this image of the new Coco Puffs. It literally looks like someone jizzed inside of a Cocoa Puff. The fuck? I'm... No, no, no. This is what they're selling right now at Walmart. This is real. Alright, hold on. Let's see this. It's fucking real! Let's it's see this. It's completely fucking real! Let's see this. I was gonna make a joke about it on TikTok earlier, but I forgot. Let's see this. Oh. I know what jizz looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone jizzed inside of a Cocoa Puff! The Amazing! Same image? <laughs> it's fucking incredible! Chat, you're seeing this. You're seeing this. Dude, Hold it's on, literally Chad. the most amazing Hold thing on. I've ever seen with cereal. Hold on, what? Chad. I question that vanilla cream inside of it. There. there it is. <laughs> it's fucking amazing! <laughs> <laughs> that is oh, real. I took that at Walmart an hour ago. <laughs> or a few hours ago. It's fucking real. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I wish! <laughs> I actually want- Oh, here's Cork. 
How to ho, Corky. Immediately standing next to Alucard. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's a dude, what the fuck? Is it that is it the same crave or some shit? I forgot what it was called. It was like a weird series. Probably where not like... really generic vanilla frosting that you get. Probably like liquidy shit. Probably, but, but it looks like this! <laughs> this fucking it's amazing! It's so stupid! <laughs> it's so dumb! It's dumb! <laughs> It also comes in other flavors besides Cocoa Puffs. Oh no. I like how there are, the current Superman show is painting Kryptonians as like sort of this Viltramite type race. Are you talking about, uh. My Adventures with Superman? What's that one? My Adventures with Superman. Is that the one that's like Small Town or whatever? No, My Adventures with Superman. It's the new animated one. I don't know. What's that live action one that's called Smallville or something? Uh, it's essentially just. Well, it's a Superman show, essentially. Doesn't that star Mary Jane or, like, his family or something? No, uh, no. I don't think so. I always thought it was just, like, shit that happened in his hometown or something, like, small time crap. Yeah, but in Smallville, yeah. spoiler alert for a show that's ended years ago, Superman lost his powers. The old, dude, if there's one comic book trip that will never die, it's just superheroes losing their powers for plot reasons. Yeah, but here's the thing. You gotta figure it out how to weaken them somehow. Like, what do you can do with Batman? Take away his money? That would be an interesting way to do a Batman comic, like, make Batman completely fucking broke. Or, do like a Batman, right, but instead of having rich parents, he essentially becomes Batman and has to rely on, like, the street for, like, getting his stuff. That's just- what the fuck am I looking at? If you're gonna say that's just Red Hood, I'm gonna slap you. Um, do you see what I'm seeing? Dude? Uh, a dude that's impaled by a stick bouncing around trying to kill you? Yes. yes. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> no, but I mean, do like a Batman where like he actually has to like rely on the streets and not his riches. But he's still like the same kind of Batman, like no killing and smart. Actually, no, the problem is they did something like that once where they did a darker take on Batman like that and it was really bad. It's called All-Star Batman. Oh yeah, but didn't also had amazing Batman. art. It was a cringe ass comic, and the only reason I even read it was because I did like a re I watched a read along video with like YouTuber Hugbees. Not only that, and oh my god! Here's the problem. Here's the pro is. here's the problem. It's that Frank Miller just doesn't have it anymore. He has the art talent, but not the writing gusto. No, like he has the art talent, but he just started like getting half ass with his art now. Was that a fucking dialect? Oh, that was the Tin Man. What? Wait, go back to that achievement. Well, I'm gonna end up doxing my name. You have to do it to the stream. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that was a reference to Wizard of Oz. You just pull up on your screen. Yeah. Also, you're welcome, chat. You get to see my name. I am certainly Hispanic. It. And I mean a lot of stuff. Well, then it get like really fucked up, from what I understand. It always describes as horror when I read it. Or when I've seen like things of it. But here's the thing, because what would end up happening is that in the story it would switch between the main MC and her friends, who were reborn as humans. The thing is, is that they just straight up cut out the entire thing with her friends entirely, just focused on her, which cuts out some really important world building. I didn't leave, I just pushed the cat can. Oh shit. Cat can, damn. But yeah. He is a very happy kitty. I need to figure out a way to get that on your screen thing. Hang on. Yeah, I really need to watch that anime again. I forgot I forgot what it's called, but it's like one I wanna watch that the cooking monsters in a dungeon, apparently it's awesome. Dungeon Meshi, yeah, that one's really good apparently. That one's really good, because it's animated by Trigger. AKA the Gurren Logan guys. Of course. And the Cyberpunk Edge Runners guys. Of course. And the Kill a Kill guys. And the Guy guys. Don't ask who the Guy guys are there. Not gonna lie, I love Studio Trigger because the fact you're just so down to earth. I remember they went to had a live stream and <laughs> it was the funniest shit ever. They were like, 
one of them was like speaking English. He speak like a flu. He was like a fluent English speaker, and um, he was like, "So we got this mouse pad." <laughs> and apparently, it was like a really funny joke that they found out. And what they One did is that mouse pad. Yes, and it was a Ryuko from Kill a Kill. <laughs> and what they figured out is that if you get a spray can or like an air, like an air can or like or a can with air in it, and you spray it into the hole, <laughs> an can. yeah, and you spray some of the air into it, it just <laughs> balloons up. And he's like, and he just kept doing that, and I'm like, bro, what the? You make the booze bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. Look it up. Look up Studio Trigger mouse pad. Nah, I'll do that later. I'll do it right now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, here's the thing. It's like Death Battle was... It's a weird thing with Death Battle. Because it's very clear they're biased. They're biased as fuck for most of their fights. They're not biased. No, they are. And I'm not talking about the Tifu versus Yang thing. I'm, I'm so salty about that, but that's not the thing that's why I'm saying they're biased. It's because for some fucking reason, Raiden still won against Wolverine. Which I'm like, okay, I get it. Raiden is awesome. He's strong. I get that. The thing is, you used comic Wolverine. What is wrong with you? Oh, okay. Uh... Dracula kicked Ganondorf's ass. Of course he did. I feel like Ganondorf is weaker than Dracula, though. Here's... Oh... Uh, here's the thing. I think their explanation for it was because Dracula could constantly feed on the power of his castle, and Ganondorf can only feed on the Triforce, which doesn't regenerate. Which I call bullshit with that, because it's like... Huh? Not. Oh boy. You're in the center of the clock tower, Bob? No, yeah, the only fight I know that was not even biased at all, because I'm pretty sure everyone wanted it to end that way, was Homelander versus Omni Man, which everyone knew how that fight was gonna go. Dude, Omni Man's strong as fuck. He could easily kill Homelander. Oh, he did. He, dude, it was, it was the most one sided fight I have ever seen. It they was... even made a joke about it. He's like, You really thought you could beat me? Didn't they actually get Gene Simmons for that? No, they got someone else. They got like someone that does a really good impression. They probably and got Kaiser or something. They got Yang Ya to do uh, Homelander. My Googling was correct! See, you have to get the Dracula relics then. Yeah. They're not optional. In that case, I'm gonna save real quick. After this. Yeah, go. Oh, I like how the clock dings throughout the whole castle. That's neat. Yeah. Alright, time to save. Shit. What is a man? You kill men and eat their souls or whatever. What a tell me. How what is shaft? a man but a miserable oh, pile of secrets? Oh, this is where they reveal that you're the kid. No, you already knew that you were the kid, because literally Castlevania 3 had Alucard. This was Castlevania 4, then. No, Castlevania 4 was already made before this. This is technically Castlevania 5, 6? Then the strongest one among them would eliminate the rest. Belmont. Just like my brother did to my entire clan. Damn you, Itachi! So I converted him, brought him here to lure the rest, to force them all to fight and die. Someone's gonna react to my Naruto joke saying, like, shut the fuck up one day. Planned for me, and now you failed. Ha! Your human soul is frail as his was. You'll take his place. I'll tear that soul apart. Why does he sound so familiar? Oh, one of Dracula's best minions. No. You should, have, you should fight death before Dracula. Oh my god. He's doing, like, no damage. Because <laughs> you have, like, the fucking endgame armor on, or it's only his first form. Nope. Do I have a new armor? 
Oh yeah, I have an Alucard's armor, but the thing is, I have an armor that gets stronger the more I explore the map. That's why I've been exploring it so often. That's actually a cool idea for an IM in a match where it's dangerous. Fuck. That was fast. Wow, talk about an easy ass boss fight. Dwell there for all eternity. I won't give you the Netflix password either. Dracula rises even now. Let him purge the world in flames. You know, Dracula really needs to take certain minions off his payroll. Like, what are the zombies even doing? I don't know. Oh! Hell Demon! Look at that! <laughs> oh, shit! Father, well met, my son. It's been a long time. Not nearly long enough. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. Do you still side with humanity? Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? You think I Yeah, Dracula just gets all his wives killed. That's what I know in this story, right? No, he only had one lover. And then they killed her because they thought she was a vampire. No, they killed her because they were like, um, that just with the sole fact she was married to Dracula. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty oh, that is metal. Oh, damn. That is metal. That is awesome. <laughs> Lisa, forgive me. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? Wait, he only has one form in this? Lost. You lost your heart, your soul. You'll never win without them. Ah, uh, how poetic. Wait, he only has one freaking form? I sacrificed all I held dear in a search for power, did I? Did you not? <laughs> Tell me. What? What were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said that she would love you for eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. Wait, he only has the one form in this? I think so. He usually has multiple forms in every game, but fuck. I'm guessing this is the exception. That was anticlimactic as fuck. <laughs> yeah, you beat him in like five seconds. I love we can get that broken at the end of the game. I think what I'll do is that I'm gonna probably end stream and then do a recording and we be in the secret boss and then add that to the video okay but yeah i guess that's it i anyway. guess yeah we beat dracula suck a dick dracula yeah your wife died well <laughs> el bozo <laughs> also call me because i want to have a coffee date later you know for, for me dude the more i can gaslight chat the thinking i'm actually gay the funnier the joke gets yeah this is why Dracula transformed himself into a white-haired Japanese so man. Alucard, <laughs> you're all right. Yeah. So you had to fight your own father? <laughs> it's my fault. If I hadn't been so weak, we wouldn't be here. Not so. I you know what next is? Because there's another Still, game in this dual pack. It couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. But remember, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. So what now, Alucard? 
The blood in my veins is cursed. It's best for the world if I disappear. Now and forever. Only for you to I show see. up in a GBA sequel. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard. Well, are you going after him or not? No, he's right. It's best this way. There's no way I could ever ease his pain. Maybe someday we will meet again. Who knows? Maybe. Let's go. Everyone's waiting for us. Yes. Let's get out of here. And that's it. That's Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Look at that. <laughs> now, for those that were in chat. So, um, chat, for those unaware that are here. Oh, did um, I miss the final cutscene? Yeah, she did. <laughs> so, what is he just. So, Alucard reincarnates as a. Or, this. Sathis Dracula reincarnates as a teenager? Yeah, which is Araya. But essentially, yeah, Alucard just chooses to just disappear from the world because he knows that he wants to, the curse of. He wants Dracula's bloodline to become non existent. I mean, I don't blame him. It's kind of cursed. Yeah. Also, for chat and also you as well, for context, I've been chipping away at this game for a hot minute and I've been busy with streaming and other shit. So I've had the chance to do it. And I'm like, and I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just do it here. And. Oh, Koji Iga. Igarashi. Let's go. But yeah, I just sort of want to get this done through the stream because usually when I record and I don't stream, I record for like an hour. And the thing is, this game has been taking me forever to beat. And, well, I just sort of chose to just do it while streaming. That way I could get a chunk of it done. And, well... So do you want to... you want to stream tomorrow? Do you want to take an off day, stream me on Friday, and then do our weekend stuff? Uh, we could do it tomorrow. Alright. And the thing is, though, I've been trying to mean to chip away at this game because, like... Because here's the thing, dude. Every time I, like, finish a game like this, I always have a sort of a thing going where it's, like, I give my thoughts on it and how it was like. And not gonna lie, like, when I was playing it, despite the bullshit, I had a lot of fun. Like, a lot. That looks fun. It is fun. And I'm like, yeah, it's the first Metroidvania to be made other than Metroid. But other than that, yeah, it's super fun, even to this day. Like, it's aged surprisingly well for what it is. This back this credit track is giving me like Zelda vibes. Yeah. Cool. They, oh, they used actual instruments for this. They didn't use uh Yeah. They didn't use Like they probably MIDI. they probably they probably used a mix of MIDI and actual music. Well yeah, you had to. A lot of devices just didn't have the sound cards for it. Yeah, and essentially Yeah, a lot of this game is just so fun, like so, like shockingly fun, and it makes me like upset I didn't get to play this when it first released. Because imagine in '98 when this released and people loved it, like, how do you think people reacted back then when this game came out? This has been the Castlevania Symphony of the Night playthrough, brought to you by Cocoa Puffs Jizz flavor. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I had to. Now what were you saying? But yeah, like um. Like, I don't know, how, like, this, like how would you, people, how did people react when this game came out back in 98? I mean, it was a fucking smash hit. Yeah, because, like, it basically revived the Castlevania <laughs> brand for, like, a couple years after. I can imagine uh, PlayStation or Konami's face when they saw the reviews. It's like, wait, Castlevania 64 flop, but this sold extremely well? The fuck? Guess where Castlevania's going? <laughs> 2D forever, mates. Yeah, and then Castlevania proceeded to get stuck on handhelds for years and only have, like, what, two, three console games? Oh, okay, so the original PlayStation ver- It had an Xbox 360 port at some point? Yeah, it was ported through Xbox Arcade. Interesting. So, the, oh wow, the iOS version got an 88 out of 100. Uh, so the original PlayStation version for PS1 got a 93 out of 100. That's really good for back then.
ever And I've got to make my decision This time it could be my moment At this I may write your a chance to fulfill my mission Finish what Kid, Kid Dracula, Dracula started. started. Let's go. Oh, uh, so finish what the Game Boy Color game started. Kid Dracula, yeah. Let's see, what do I get for fighting this dude? Life max up. And only life max up. Nope, there's another door. There's more to it, I know for sure. Let's see, what's over here? Gotta give you an item, sure. No? Wait, there's way more map. Holy shit! But here's another secret boss. That'll be funny. Let's see what's. You thought that there? I was the secret boss? It's just a double-sized version of that guy. Ruby circlet. Obtain gas cloud. What's the ruby circlet? Honk of life. Mystic pendant. Strengthens the power of cross. Wait a minute. I don't even have all the relics. Hold on a second. Oh shit. I just realized I don't have all the power of the relics. Huh. I mean, the game's still finished, though. Oh, yeah, I still finished the game. They were just, like, doing on my end just to, like, go on 100%. Anyways, boys and gals, the controller's gonna die anyways, and uh... No, Miguel, you're dual sense. Yes. <laughs> for those that enjoyed the stream, thank you for staying all the way through and let me finishing this game with me. I've been trying to chip my way at it for like recording for a hot minute now, but... Well, at least thank you guys for showing up here and watching this. If you guys want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. That way, I can like you can get reminded of any streams that we do. Because mostly I've been streaming, and I've been sort of like using that as a way to fill out content, whether out of them my recordings. Because my recordings, I tend to take a while to put those out. So I, I figured streaming would help out with like giving you guys the content you want. <laughs> and you know, just please subscribe because this has been a not gonna lie. <laughs> like I said, Symphony of the Night is just a hell of a game. If you guys want to check it out, it's like on the PSN store for like 20 bucks with Rondo. So, yeah, you guys want to try it out, go ahead. Because I don't think the... Unless you have like an emulator, you can't really play this game on other consoles. Like, you can't play You it, really can't. You can only play it on PlayStation. Which is... PlayStation. Which is funny to me, because I don't think they wanted to do all the whole problem of getting everything on other consoles. It's for, taking forever to like... Making all the sprites and shit. But, yeah. Probably. It would be cool if they ported this. Anyways, uh, we are tired. I need to shower because I have not showered yet. Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you can see you guys tomorrow. And also. And then on Friday, we'll be doing some Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. locking them.